The Rapid Air Weapons HM1000X, this gun's in 357. it comes in a variety of calibers. Uh, bottle forward design, looks a lot like the, uh, the Rapids of old. This gun has a lot of the elements of fine British styling uh, that you would expect from its, its lineage. It's my first chance to really get out and start shooting it. I'm going on a prairie dog hunt and a 10 shot string on it and uh, I got uh, 747, 743, 741, 41, 740, 733, 730, 726, 723, 719. So I started dropping off the 10th shot. I probably had quite a few more shots left, but I was watching the point at 65 yards, the point of impact starting to drop there. And I'm shooting the, uh, the JSB 357, 77.6 grain uh, Diablo pellets. They, uh, they're working, as you uh, see from the target, they're working quite good out of this gun. So we'll do a lot more. I'll talk about the gun. We'll see what it uh, does when we get out in the Prairie Dog Towns uh, later today or tomorrow. The HM1000X rifle has a V-shaped attachment that branches to a quick-release connector on the right side of the rifle and a pressure gauge on the left. The gun fills to 230 bar, but the manual stated 207 bar and I was filling to about 200, so I was underfilling the rifle. Doing my pre-hunt workup, I burned through several tins of pellets. Here's a three-shot 65-yard group. Next is a three-shot 100-yard group. The high and the low were ranging shots. The final group was 14 shots at 100 yards. I was confident in this gun and couldn't wait to get it out for long-range prairie dogging. Western South Dakota is a fantastic place, dotted with old homesteads, natural beauty, and lots of wildlife. But I was here for prairie dogs. Headshot. The magazine was reliable and easy to load, and the side lever cycled smoothly and very quickly. prairie dogs and uh, you saw how the uh, the HM 1000X uh, performed out there good long-range gun I was shooting out past 100 yards going out to 125 yards uh, the big 35 caliber pellets put a smack on the prairie dogs reaching out that far they still just bowled them right over there's a lot to like about this gun the uh, the bottle design of it bottle forward design gives you a high capacity for, for air high volume of air so you get quite a few shots um, it charges up to 230 bar. As I mentioned, I, the, the manual said to go up to 207, so I was really undercharging the gun. I could have probably gotten another 10, 15 shots out of it and probably could have gotten up a little bit higher, but I was still shooting in about the 100 foot-pound range. The pellets are advertised as being 77.6 grains, but when I, when I measure them out, they come closer to, uh, to about 80 grains for each pellet. So they're, they're putting out between 90 and 100, a little over 100 foot-pound of, of energy. Um, that, I think, is a very good uh, power output for, uh, for hunting medium and, uh, and predator-sized game. Um, Having, uh, having said it, this gun is also not uh, too much gun if you want to use it for small game, if you want to use it to go out after a rabbit, or in the case of what I was doing, long range prairie dog, it's, it's completely appropriate for that as well. Um, the design of this gun is very nice, has a lot in common with the, uh, the rapid, uh, and again, considering the, the lineage of the, uh, the gun and the designer of the gun, that's, that's a really uh, that's nice trigger. It's probably a little lighter than I would have said it, but uh, again, this is a loaner gun. I don't want to start playing around with it. I'm just using it as it uh, comes out of the box. Um, I like the uh, fact that it uses a fast uh, connect for, for filling, a Foster-style connector. Um, rather than a proprietary probe, it just makes it easier, especially if you have a lot of guns, that they go to that standardization. The rotary magazine on the gun is uh, easy to load. It's reliable. I shot uh, close to 10 tins of pellets and I didn't have a, a mist heat or a jam. Um, so it's, it's very uh, robust in, in terms of the, uh, the design. Auto indexes every time you cock using the side lever. 
Like that side lever also, very smooth and a fast cycling action. One of the best, uh, best actions, I think, uh, in any gun that you can get out there is a side lever. I prefer it over bolt action uh, quite a bit. Pretty fast to, uh, to cycle. Um, all in all, um, the gun performed really well. Um, it's a gun that uh, I definitely uh, want to add to my, uh, to my collection. Now one thing also, just to, to conclude, that I'm going to mention, any um, hunting gun has to be accurate. So any gun that, that I'm going to use in the field has to have a certain um, level of accuracy. I saw earlier in the video, I shoot off a bench to, to get ready when one's available. But I actually do most of my shooting off sticks or over a backpack because that's the way I use a gun. Shooting in hunting conditions, and I, I proved this out in the field, 125 uh, yards off of sticks, I'm able to consistently hit uh, prairie dogs. So I think the Rapid Air Weapons uh, HM-1000X is a, a very good mid-bore gun for those of you who want to do predator hunting. There are several guns out there to look at, and you know I'm not here to tell you which gun you should buy because a lot of that is personal choice. You have to look into it. But this is definitely one I would put high up on my short list to take a look at.